Hello world, this is Random Fix, and in my hand today I have the Innova 6100P and we're going to go ahead and try out the scan tool right here. We're going to use it to check the airbag light on this 2000 Honda Accord and we're also going to use it later on to reset a check engine line on a 2019 vehicle as well. So let me go ahead and show you how to connect this to your vehicle. So on most vehicles you're going to find the OBD2 port for your car in the driver's side footwell area and if we look around we're going to see that it's this port right here sometimes there are different colors and the best part about this is the connector only goes in one way so this one's pretty cool because it's actually got some batteries that power up the unit and it's got a light so in the dark you can definitely find your way and as soon as you do so what you want to do is you want to take your ignition key or your push button start make sure your foot is not on the brake do not crank the motor but turn it to where the check engine light turns on and once the check engine light is on what it will do is it will start connecting so let's let this load up for a second and as you can see right here this is good news. So all my monitors are ready. Those are right at the top right there. Let me know all the inspection monitors for emissions are going to be green. And you could also see there's a status light right here, which is green. If these were not ready, you would see a yellow. And if there was some kind of pending code, this would actually turn red, which is really great. And if you're buying a vehicle, and you get these lights to be green there's a pretty good chance you're getting a vehicle that's pretty sound electronically as far as the emissions monitors and I'm gonna have some links below to some articles and some uh, sheets you should have if you're buying a vehicle um, it's a checklist that I made that I think will really help you out so check that out as well as let me show you the rest of this particular unit and what it does all right, so I'm connected now, and we're going to look at some buttons here. And the buttons on the left-hand side are going to be the hot keys. And this is going to be the uh, main menu right here. So I'm going to start off with the red button. This one right here is actually used to erase a check engine light or a trouble code. This one right here is used to access the system menu. And we'll go over that a little bit later. I got a DTC, which stands for Diagnostic Trouble Code. And if you go ahead and push that, it will go and see if there's any trouble codes, which there's none in this vehicle for emissions. We have a power button right here. We also have a menu button. And the main menu button uh, is going to allow you to go and do some additional things like oil resets and alternator test, which we'll cover soon. And we got an FF button right here, which stands for freeze frame data. So let's say your check engine light is on. What this will do, this will display what temperature was outside, what was the throttle positioning, and other data that you need to go troubleshoot that particular issue. So let's go ahead and check out some of the features here. We're going to go and access the system menu here. And on the system menu, we're going to scroll down to SRS so this particular vehicle actually has a SRS light on because it's a Honda and Hondas have a lifetime warranty on the seat belts at least they do here in America because they have some defects like this buckle here so we're gonna go ahead and access this data here and we're gonna choose a vehicle so these are the vehicles I've used it on so far and it's able to communicate As you can see, the unit went ahead and communicated. We have a 9-3 code here. And if I wanted to erase it, I could go ahead and do so. And it's going to be successful. It lets me know right there. However, this particular vehicle, this issue is not going to go away because the buckle is the problem. So if you do have a Honda and you're watching this, go down to the dealer. They'll go ahead and fix it for you as long as your vehicle is not salvaged. Nonetheless, we're going to go and get out of here. And we also have OEM enhanced data. So 
it can access some of the enhanced features for particular vehicles. I'll have a cheat sheet to that as well. We can click the DTC button and the nice thing is when I erase the SRS light, it did not affect the actual DTCs or the readiness monitors for the inspection. So that definitely gets a thumbs up because we don't want it to wipe out everything. And on the right hand side we have the power button here and we are going to go ahead and access the M which is for the main menu. Vehicle information, I can look up the VIN number on this vehicle. I got an oil reset procedure built in. I have a DTC locator. Um, and I have a battery alternator test. This test is actually pretty cool because what it makes you do is turn on the headlights, run the vehicle, and it's a little bit more of a thorough test than just going off the voltage. So another thumbs up for that. And this is one of a kind. I've never seen this before. This actually has a drive cycle procedure for this vehicle. So if Honda has a certain drive cycle, it will let you know what that drive cycle is. And I have a lot of videos on drive cycles, so I'll include those as well. But this is going to be complete. So all monitors are complete. However, if you wanted to know what was the sequence for the catalyst monitor to get ready, you can go ahead and select this, right? And it'll let you know that this is what you got to do and these are the conditions that need to be met. And this is the actual test right here. So, super, super cool. Uh, I wish I actually had this when I used to be in the car business because it would have made my life somewhat easier on more complicated vehicles and lastly I have the freeze frame data which this one has no codes so we're gonna go and uh, check out the global OBD2 just to make sure it's gonna go ahead and communicate with this vehicle effectively as we can see we're able to access the information and if I did want to erase those monitors I could go ahead and do that right here and I'm going to show you guys what's going to end up happening so we're going to erase this just for demonstration purposes erase was successful and since I clear the check engine light you guys can see all the stuff here is actually flashing red I got a little warning right here so this definitely is going to help you guys out when you're looking to purchase a vehicle so let's go ahead and try this on another vehicle as well. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and set this up in this 2019 Toyota Corolla. And we want to make sure that it's going to go ahead and erase that check engine light that we got. Let me show you guys this right here. And look at these new vehicles when the check engine light is on. Most of the stuff doesn't work, so my check engine light is on, my uh, parking brake has a problem, my lane departure assist has a problem, pre-collisions turned off, traction tools turned off. This is a Christmas tree, so it really helps to have a tool like this in your glove box because it's going to make it really easy. And right then and there, you guys can see this one, unlike the Honda, actually has a code that's live right here. So we're going to go ahead and delete the code using this scan tool. And let's see what actually happens if we leave the motor running. Some cars have had good experiences with this and other ones I have not. So let's see if this is going to happen as I clear that up. So the check engine light is actually off now. So let's see what actually happens on this vehicle if we try to clear this up with the vehicle running. The race was successful and check it out guys check engine light is gone you guys can see I still have some warning lights here if this happens on your vehicle go ahead and turn the vehicle off and turn it back on as you guys can see now everything is working lane departure assist is working everything is cleared up and that definitely helps out so I'm going to show you guys the case for this particular scan tool now and um, also a couple of things was the software that this came with was pretty gr good and it was activated for about a year so it will show you how to do various different things on your vehicle 
such as changing out your wipers and rotating your tires and there's premium content you can buy too overall really cool little scan tool and there's three AA batteries in the back it takes and if you guys ever run into an issue with any of these Innova scan tools not doing what they're supposed to do and you got old batteries in there my tip is remove the old batteries because the actual DLC port on this unit and that's what that D DLC locator is right here uh, that will actually uh, power up the unit so if you don't know where your port is this will even point you in the right direction so you can get this connected here's a little carrying bag that it came with and it makes it nice and convenient to go ahead and store this in your glove box or in the back of your vehicle alright guys I hope the video helped you guys out if you guys got any comments or questions please leave them below and check out all the links as well and I have a contact form in there if you guys got a question you're welcome to go ahead and ask it and I'll definitely get back to you have a fantastic day if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and smash on that notification button as well take care bye